Assad dudes, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be working on the tube chassis crew cab OBS. If you guys haven't already, we have already done a walk around video on this truck, just showing you guys, guys what it has on it. So I won't go too much in depth right now. It is a center mounted front end, full tube chassis like I did say, and it does have a full back half on it. Today, I'm gonna be working on getting the trunk lid started, as well as more than likely getting the trans cooler mounted as well. I'm gonna be doing a swing up uh, spare tire and trunk lid just like that. So this one's gonna be made a little bit bigger, a little bit different than the way I did it on the other truck. But, but as you can see, I've already gotten started on the trunk lid. I went ahead and got two pieces of square tubing just clamped to the main tubes on the bed cage. The reason behind that is because I don't want the trunk lid or anything else that I'm gonna be building off of here higher than the main tubes of the bed cage itself. So that just keeps everything in the same plane that way. The next step right now is gonna be making a tab that captures this bolt hole right here for the Heim. And I'm gonna probably go along here and across here, put some brakes in the plate, give it some dimension to it, make something look good. But that's the next step right now. I need to just make a template for this out of some template paper, and then we'll get the real thing cut out. A little bit of time has gone by now. I have gotten a few more tubes tacked up in place in here. Um, as you saw in the video, I did have these tubes right here tacked right here on the main bed cage uh, tubes just to keep everything level and at the same height. So as you can see, everything's nice and level. So now from here, I'm actually, I've gotten the trans cooler mocked up. Me and my brother got a bunch of just random stuff in here just to get this thing sitting where I want it um, so I can start making the tabs off of it. Uh, but right now, I'm going to, right here on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and use these uh, trick tabs that I've you've seen me use before. I'm gonna use these on this side and just run a piece of one inch tubing along this, probably off of the, the, bed, the main bed cage right here, and then just run the tube across. And then the top side, I'm more than likely gonna um, run a piece of plate, like drill some holes in a piece of plate and just run it to this main tube underneath the trunk lid. So it shouldn't be too difficult. I'm gonna get started on that right now, but I just wanted to update you guys because I have been doing just some montage shots, but we are getting somewhere with this trunk lid.
just finished up with the transmission mount as you guys just saw. I came in here on the one inch tube with these tabs and TIG welded all the tabs onto it. And then on the top side with this uh, piece of plate, I just MIG welded it on, just kind of stitch welded it, three inch sections along here, along there, and then just kept going all the way across. Came out super good. I ended up on these holes right here, ended up tacking nuts as you saw on the bottom side. That way it matches this side because these have threaded inserts in them already. So all you have to do is just put a bolt through it, tighten the bolt. You don't have to hold a, a wrench on the bottom side on the nut or anything like that. It makes it super simple. So I wanted to make the top side match that. We did get these tabs burned in for the trunk lid. We got the trunk lid all burned up. There's still a couple tubes I'm gonna add into this trunk lid still, but I didn't wanna add them before I get the trunk started because where the trunk comes up right here, basically off this bottom tube, it's gonna come straight up and then I'm gonna run a tube across here and that's gonna uh, enclose the trunk. So I wanted to get everything built first, um, get the trans cooler in here first before I started putting the tube in here, figuring out where everything's at. So now right this second, I'm going to move on to getting um, the latch system all figured out for the rear of this thing to get the trunk to open correctly. It's gonna be a little bit trickier than this truck um, the reason behind that is because this is gonna run a 40 inch spare, um, obviously to, to match what the truck's gonna run, but the tricky part about that is on this structure, as you saw, I did everything inside of the tube work instead of on this truck where I did everything just sitting on top of the tubing. So the reason that's an issue is because when the spare is sitting on here and everything is closed, there's nowhere to get to this tube to to run a, a latch off of. And I can't go inside of where the trunk is because that's gonna be a completely sealed area. So I gotta get pretty creative on what I'm gonna be doing here for the latch. I've already screwed up one time. <laughs> I made a tab, burned the, the bung for the, the latch system onto it and I was gonna run it right here. But I can't go into the trunk like I said before because it's gonna be completely sealed. So I'm probably gonna have to cut that tab off of there which sucks but I'm gonna get started on something. Getting back into things real quick. I did take a minute off camera just now to figure out how exactly I'm gonna be doing this latch system, but I do have a pretty solid idea on how I'm gonna be doing it now. I went ahead and got that tab cut off of here, got this all ground back down. This will end up actually going just like so in here, but I gotta get that welded in right now. This is just a rough shape for right this second. I still need to come in and blend everything out, but just to get an idea what I'm gonna be doing. This will be centered off this tube right here, the main tube on the, the trunk lid. And then I'm gonna burn it in right here along the top side. This will obviously not get welded because it has to come up over the tube, but you could tell the latch will get put in right here. We'll have a tab off the bottom of the main bed cage tube. And then the latch system will just come up right over this main tube when you lift the trunk up and everything will come up and then it'll come right back down when you wanna close it and the latch will slide right back into place and lock everything down. So that's the idea behind this. I had to do it a lot different than how I did the FM50 that I did previously with the trunk, but I'm definitely happy with the way this is coming out. This is the first time I've ever done anything somewhat three-dimensional, so definitely a cool learning experience. But like I said, I just need to come back in and blend all this stuff out, make it look all nice once I'm actually finished with it. But for right now, I'm just getting things fitted. I'm gonna get this tacked up, get the other tab made that comes off of here to actually hold the latch. And yeah, let's get started. I just took a couple minutes off camera and got this latch system all burned into place. 
I'm super happy with the way this came out. This is the first time that I've done anything three-dimensional like this. Added these side pieces in here, welded them together, and then blended everything smooth so you can't see anything and it looks all like one piece. Super, super happy with the way this came out. It works really nice too. We got just a pull pin that I'm using from Cartec. It has a half inch little stud off the end of it. And then we have just a, just a tab off the bed cage and everything comes down, goes together nice and easy, exactly how it should. The next thing that needs to be added to this trunk lid is gonna be the gas struts um, to be able to hold up the trunk lid itself and a 40 inch spare tire that'll be sitting on top of it. That'll be coming later though. I think the next thing I'm gonna be doing is getting the trunk actually started, the sealed trunk part of it. I'm gonna be using some eighth inch aluminum to seal off this entire trunk. I'm gonna get all the pieces tacked in here, um, get it pulled out, weld the whole thing up, blend it out so you don't see any of the welds and then set it back in so it's a completely sealed aluminum trunk inside of all the tube work. So that'll be definitely cool. That'll be in the next video though. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoy the content on this truck so far, please make sure you give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>